Good morning, uh, it's Jeremy from Rotronic. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video to introduce our Rotronic monitoring system and in particular I wanted to introduce and demonstrate how simple it is to register an account and initially set up a system and add your first few devices. So I'm on the main Rotronic website and I'm going to jump through to the RMS satellite page where we have lots of information and up at the top right we have our login and register buttons to the cloud platform. Of course we do on premise but this is the cloud so you will have your uh, license key this may well be done for you by your Rotronic uh, system subsidiary or distributor but if you're doing it yourself then we enter the chosen company name which you once set up is fixed uh, we enter our initial username not case sensitive. Email address is very important because that's how you recover your password if you were to lose it and you enter your password. Uh, you'll set your password here. There's no password requirements at this stage that can be added at a later date. You'd click register and you jump straight through to the main page. I've already done that so I'm going to jump through to my blank RMS account, RMS demo system here with my admin user. Nothing added, all as defaults. So let's make some initial setups. Tools and setup, we're going to go down to the account, just confirm the details are as required. In the system, I want to add my company logo perhaps, let's use the Retronic logo there. I might want to change the title text, so demo live monitoring system and obviously the language so will affect reports and parts of the website and the time zone of course very important so these are system settings in addition down here I can uh, change the password requirements I can also enable some some parts that are very important for the pharmaceutical industry uh, reasons for changes passwords for changes uh, disable any deletion of data etc but that's enough for now let's just check that's taken hold so we've got my logo now got my title as I want it to be now the way we organize the structure all the devices and data is all through the group structure here on the left hand side so let's make some changes there so you might do this by building by room by application depends on the size of, of your system so let's rename this to home office um, and in a second video we will do uh, add some outside weather data information so I might add that as a second group at this stage so I'm ready. Okay home office and weather data two groups nice and simple. Right let's add some devices. So I have with me a data logger temperature and humidity uh, with a high-end temperature and humidity digital probe here and this is a LAN device has battery but it communicates over Ethernet. So I'm going to plug that into my home router here, which has PoE, so that will power the device up um, and connect it to my network. Now, if I needed to make any changes to the network settings, then I can use a small desktop app to configure that. This is called RMS Config. And within RMS Config, we can uh, search for network devices. I don't need to hold that anymore and we find that our LAN logger here is accessible on the network if need be I can change uh, from DHCP some companies will prefer fixed IP addresses very easy to change importantly this software will find devices uh, on the network even if the IP settings are wrong slightly technical point if need be we can add the device here uh, we can change some other settings but not required for the cloud key point it's on the network and it's communicating and that device will be transmitting information to the cloud here to say I exist. So I want to add it to my account. So I enter the uh, serial number. And that will tell RMS that I'm ready to add this device. And we should get a orange flashy light, if you can just about see that. And I'm going to press the button here. And that tells the RMS software that I own this device ready to pair it. So there we are, we're in the pairing mode now, I can set the logging interval, which group to add, I might change the uh, the measuring point name, so I might call this home office humidity, 
and home office temperature can always be changed in the future new device added there are some additional settings I can change I can give it a position information I can change the timeout time so in this as it is in four minutes if it's offline then there will be an error reported in the system that the device is offline I can see my two measuring points that have been created uh, and if I go to the chart then within the home office group I can see my two parameters the device is logging every minute so we should see some live data pop through any moment now and then we will add our alarms so at the moment we have no warnings and alarms I've got my heater going actually let's turn that down so we have a bit of peace and quiet uh, so we will set up some alarms on this system so we can get warnings and notifications about out of limit conditions let's do that now while the device is waiting to communicate in fact I've just seen it blink so uh, there we are there's our data coming through so yes getting a little hot in here uh, right let's set up some alarms so I'm just going to set a temperature in the office alarm scheme I prefer to do alarm schemes with our within RMS there are other ways of doing it but this allows me to set a template that I can apply to multiple devices uh, so I might this might be multiple office office sensors or fridge sensors whatever it might be okay I'm going to choose an active time I only really care about alarms while I'm using this space uh, I'll leave this at 8 to 5 and I want warnings from say 18 to 23 with no delay and I'm going to have an alarm message at 15 uh, to say 25 and I might put a 15 minute delay on that one now, it would be useful for me actually to get warnings outside these hours if the temperature goes very low. I'm in a, a home office here, I'm away from my house, so it could get very cold. So I'm just going to set up an alarm limit, say, at 5 degrees. Just lets me know overnight if it's very, very cold. Maybe I want to come down early and switch the heating on. So we're going to hit save there. That's the alarm scheme configured, and I just need to allocate it to my temperature sensor here, my temperature measurement, so I'm going to choose alarm mode, alarm scheme, temperature office. Hit save, that's all configured. Go back to my chart now, I can see uh, with the heater, it's, a, it's an air blown heater so that the heater is off so we're rapidly cooling back down um, and as that alarm band has become active we will see, start to see the alarm band on the chart here as the time moves on. Now what else can we do initially in this setup? We probably want to add some additional users. So I'm a full admin and that means I can make all changes to the system. Um, but I might want a, uh, a colleague to have guest access perhaps. Um, so we can see my single user here. I want to add a second user. First of all I'm going to configure the user rights. So this is my admin user rights. They have view, edit, add, delete access to the whole system. So I'm going to make a new user right called view only it's going to start blank and I'm just going to allow this user right to have basic view access to some of the uh, basic parts of the software documents maybe the uh, yeah not set up so very basic access uh, is all we need so I'm going to hit save that's a template now and again I can create a new user so let's say uh, guest demo you would normally create uh, users with their full name of course is correct in the pharmaceutical industry but in some applications we might want a, uh, a guest access since you can't make any changes that might be acceptable to you just going to give them access to the home office group with that view only user right there we go as they're in the home office group they must only be visible in the home office group and we hit save so that's my new user created with the username guest and first time a new user is created they have a blank password so I log in enter my chosen password and away we go and we can see now the temperature is stabilizing and I can see my alarm band here that is now active and I can see my temperature is in alarm mode I can see the warning up here the warning is active and I can see that chart and the information about 
what what is the warning what is the source of the warning the alarm scheme we set up and which uh, instrument is giving the alarm the home office temperature still active it's in bold it started at 9:53 here and it will i'm sure end any moment now as it is cooling down fast in fact there we go so the temperature's gone back into the green zone and the alarm has ended uh, the warning has ended sorry uh, but it's still listed it will be a finished event uh, here as we can see so that's probably enough for now ah yes my my guest user can only uh, cannot come into tools and setup so i can't do any further configuration which is what i want but i can see that live data but we'll touch on to some other parts of the software at a later stage that's enough for now just showing you how easy it is to add uh, devices next time we'll add some wireless devices perhaps we'll use the layout add some layout uh, imaging here um, and, uh, and go a little deeper okay thanks very much and catch up soon <laughs>